What's up my friend? Abby here and welcome back to Writer's Life Wednesdays where we come together to help you make your story matter and make your author dreams come true. I have a question for you. Who is the best teacher of writing ever? Me? Oh my gosh! That is so sweet of you, but actually you're wrong. I know, it's hard to believe, right? <laughs> the ultimate writing coach, the best teacher of story in the world is story. That's right, you will never learn more about story from a human being than you will by consuming and analyzing and studying story. If you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, you know that I love studying stories. I'm the most annoying person to go to the movies with because I can't just like watch a movie and be like, yeah, that was pretty good. No. <laughs> No, I have to spend the next few hours or possibly even days dissecting and understanding and analyzing every single component of the movie, whether that was the characters, the plot, the structure, on and on it goes. If the movie sucked or lost my interest, I have to know why. Also, if it was fabulous, I have to know why. See, I'm the kind of person who has to understand the science behind everything, whether that's the food I'm eating, the supplements I'm swallowing, the exercise I'm doing, or why I can sit in front of the TV and just keep clicking next episode, next episode, next episode, because I have to know what happens next. This isn't an unexplainable mystery of the universe. Just like everything else, there is a science behind story. So how do we learn about that science? By studying and analyzing it. Don't worry. It's really fun. I tell writers all the time, study your favorite stories, learn from them. But a lot of writers don't know where to start with this studying process or what, what the process even looks like. So that's what I'm going to show you in this video, my story psychoanalyzation process. As someone who is homeschooled her whole life, I like to think that I'm an expert at teaching myself stuff. So if you want to learn from your favorite stories and become a better writer, keep watching this video is for you. Why does your story matter? Good question. What if I told you that there's a science behind every great story? I don't just teach you how to write. I teach you how to change the world with your story and make your author dreams come true. All right, the process I'm going to share with you today is actually a series of questions to ask yourself about the story you've chosen to study. Big surprise, Abby. <laughs> Ask yourself questions. <laughs> That's not like me at all. I have two detailed study guides that I'm going to share with you today. One is for a standalone book or a movie, and the other is for a series of books or a TV series. I also wanna emphasize that you can study any kind of story, okay? Doesn't matter if it's a book, movie, TV series, anime, webcomic, graphic novel, you name it. As I always say, a story is a story is a story. So don't get stuck on, oh, this is a movie, it's different than a book. It's actually not that different. Yes, film is an entirely different medium, but I actually like to think in terms of film when I'm writing because it helps me to create a more visual and immersive experience for my reader. I want them to see what's happening on the screen of their mind. Now, if you want to get the most out of your story study for your own work in progress, then I would recommend studying a story that has a similar structure. Okay, so if you're writing a standalone novel, it'd probably be better for you to study a standalone story rather than something like an ongoing TV series. But I recommend analyzing everything if you can. It will only make you a better storyteller. Now, I'm going to walk you through both of these questionnaires and show you how they work. And by the way, you can download both of these questionnaires for free. The links are in the description box below this video. Okay, first, let's look at the story study guide for a standalone movie or a book. So first we have the title, genre, length, and premise. You can keep those very basic they're just for your own reference. First question, who is the protagonist? When are they introduced? What does the opening scene tell us about the characters? Why do we feel sympathetic for the characters? Does it start with something that will directly impact the protagonist? If we're following more than one protagonist, what do they all have in common with each other? Or what brings them together? 
What does the protagonist want and why do they think it will make them happy? When is their goal revealed? What is their misbelief? What is the event in their past that sparked this misbelief? What are they afraid of? Why do they struggle to accomplish their goal? When or if the protagonist achieves their external goal, are they happy with the reality of it? What themes or truths or big ideas are portrayed through each character? Which characters have positive character arcs and which characters have negative character arcs? Also take note of the climaxes in the story. So first climax would be when the inciting incident happens or the first push outside the comfort zone. The next one would be when the plot twist happens or something gets in the way of progress. And the last one would be when the final climax happens or the protagonist faces their greatest challenge. Okay, boom, that's the first study guide. The second one is for a TV series or a book series, I guess you could also use it for. But I did make this one more suited to a TV series, so I'm gonna be using language like season in this just to make things easier on us, okay? So it's a lot like the first study guide. You're going to write down the series name, the genre, the premise, the number of seasons, and the number of episodes in a season, okay? And then we're gonna go into the important questions. Who is the protagonist? When are they introduced? What does the opening scene tell us about the characters? Why do we feel sympathetic for the characters? Does it start with something that will directly impact the protagonist? If we're following more than one protagonist, what do they all have in common with each other? What brings them together? This is especially important for a TV series because you'll have more characters that you're following. What does the protagonist want? And what do they think will make them happy? When is their goal revealed? Who supports their goal? Who opposes their goal? Why? What is the protagonist's misbelief? What is the event in their past that sparked this misbelief? What is the protagonist afraid of? Why do they struggle to accomplish their goal? What is the protagonist hiding or keeping a secret? Who or what is the antagonist? And when are they introduced? Why do they want the protagonist, their enemy, to fail? When is the antagonist's motive revealed? Does the protagonist know? How are the characters we leave the protagonist to follow directly related to the protagonist? And when do we start following them? That one's really important. How much progress do the characters make in episode one? How does it compare to the progress rate in other episodes? So a lot of times you'll notice that the pilot, the first episode of a series, has way more progress than the rest of it. That's important as far as pacing goes for the opening of your series or your novel. Where does the protagonist find themselves at the end of season one? Are the stakes higher? Why? How much time passes between seasons? What did we miss? Do we feel estranged from the characters at all? Identify all the plot holes you can find. Make a running list of those. Does the protagonist ever truly defeat the antagonist? If so, how? If not, is it still satisfying? Why or why not? How does the protagonist transform as a result of their journey? When do they have their aha moment? When does the series start to lose your interest? Pinpoint the exact episode if possible. What themes or truths or big ideas are portrayed through each character? Which characters have positive character arcs and which characters have negative character arcs? Again, find the climaxes or the pivotal moments throughout the season, throughout each season, and mark them on points in a timeline. When does the inciting incident happen? The first push outside the comfort zone. When does something get in the way of progress? Obstacles and conflict. When does the protagonist shift their goal? This might happen more than once, so track all changes. When does the protagonist make a big decision? Pain versus pain. When does the protagonist face their biggest challenge? So you can mark those pivotal moments on a timeline by using something like a table chart, or you can make your own chart in a notebook based on the number of episodes in a season. Now, once you've filled this out, 
you'll start to see like, okay, cool. That's how, that's what's happening behind the scenes. That's the science behind why this works. But the real magic happens when you study multiple stories and you start to find patterns. They might be totally different stories. Like you might be studying a Disney princess movie one day and then you're studying a war thriller the next day and then you realize they both have the same scientific formula. That's where things like the three act story structure come from. Even my own character profile is based off of proven repeatable storytelling strategies. And the best part is you don't have to take my word for it. You don't have to take anybody's word for it you know what stories click with you. So figure out why. I promise you there is a scientific formula behind it, one that you can use to make your stories more memorable and compelling. And who knows, maybe one day some aspiring writer will be using this questionnaire to study your story and figure out what makes it so darn good. Like I said at the beginning of this video, story is the best writing coach. That's why on this channel, I don't just give you a bunch of talking points and a bunch of storytelling principles without any proof to back up what I'm saying. I like to case study stories with you and show you what these writing devices look like in action, both good examples and bad examples. And I know that you guys love my story case study videos, which is awesome because I love making them. And and that's why I'm super excited to announce a brand new show that I'm going to be kicking off on this channel very soon, Science of Story. This show is going to be dedicated solely to studying stories, breaking down the science behind them and demystifying the complex art of storytelling. I want every video to be like a mini masterclass. So loaded with insight, but also very fun and inspiring. Together, we're going to explore stories on an even deeper level and uncover the secret ingredients that most people don't even notice. It's going to be awesome. So if you don't want to miss those new videos, plus all the writing videos I post every week, subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button if you liked this video and be sure to check out my Patreon because that's where we go beyond videos and take storytelling to the next level. The Patreon community is not only the best way to support what I'm doing here on YouTube, but it's the only way to connect one-on-one -on -one with me and get better guidance on your story. So go to patreon.com slash Abby Emmons and check out all the exclusive content I have over there for you. Until next week, my friend, rock on. Am I lit? Am I lit enough? I mean, I know I'm lit. But am I lit? Become a better writer. I've been learning from your favorite toys. Yeah. Yes, that. My ombre shows up really good when I'm wearing black. It's good to know. The screen of my mind. It's like an inside out, you know, how the girl has the dream and then she's like watching the dream. Her little emotions are watching the dream. That's where you want your book on that screen. That little movie screen. Ah. Don't you hate that? Ugh. Ugh. You typed in the wrong password. Ugh. That's what I think of every time the little password thing like shakes itself. Like, how dare you? How dare you get the password wrong?